What's up, sports bettors? We're going to be going through prize picks, underdog fantasy, and thrive fantasy for today. Is there any value? And I'm going to be sharing with you one play that I ended up locking in. I got some MLB playoffs bets, and then I also have some early NFL picks. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. And again, we've explained this before, but when you're playing on underdog fantasy, you're getting implied juice of minus 122 if you're playing in a three pick or a five pick entry. If you're playing a two pick entry, you're getting a lot worse odds on underdog fantasy. You're getting minus 137, which is why you'll notice, you know, we basically are always playing three pick or five pick entries on underdog. Never play two picks. You always want to be going with three pick or five pick. So we've just lost, you know, Raheem, man, he lost us a lot of money on these. But regardless, still an overall decent weekend we had on underdog. But anyways, three picks, you know, you're always getting, you should assume you're betting at minus 122 odds. So you're looking for value at minus 122. So the first pick I have is Garrett Cole under six and a half strikeouts. And again, I'm assuming right? If I'm playing this in a three pick entry, you assume that you're getting minus 122 juice. And the reason for that is if you just look at like a parlay calculator on underdog fantasy, you're getting plus 500 odds for three picks. So that's just implied juice of minus 122. In other words, if you had a three leg parlay on a sports book where every leg was minus 122, your parlay would come out to plus 500, 20 to win 120, 100 in profit. So because underdog is always giving you 20 to win 120, 20 to win 100 in profit, you should assume that you're betting at minus 122 juice. So the first play I ended up going with is Garrett Cole under six and a half strikeouts, right? Here are a few picks on prize picks. So prize picks offers pretty bad prices, but their five pick flexes are decent. So you can see we have an NFL prop here for Lightning Rangers, NF NHL is starting. We have Padres, Dodgers, Nerfy. That looks decent, you know, a little lower on the profit margin, but still, Braden Point under two and a half shots on goal. So there are some decent plays out there on underdog, especially in hockey. Nerfy, Phillies Braves, right? Cal Quantrill over three and a half strikeouts. There's some good plays you can go with kind of on prize picks. But regardless, the first play I have on underdog fantasy is going to be under six and a half strikeouts at minus 122 juice, right? So this is pretty great. We're getting a ton of value. Most sports books have the under juiced, you know, minus 128 to minus 160. We're getting minus 122 on underdog fantasy. So we're using all this data in the market to kind of find value on underdog fantasy. And this is the first play I ended up going with, as well as Alvarez under one and a half bases in Mariners Astros. But again, I'm just looking at, you know, the odds to tease out where the value is. What makes sports betting so fascinating is all these bookmakers, right, they like price the same thing, Garrett Cole over under six and a half Ks, differently, right? And some sports books are sharper than others. Pinnacle's the sharpest bookmaker in the world. And you can see they have the under all the way at minus 159, right? So they have the under heavily juiced, which means they think the under is a lot more likely to occur than the over is. They're giving you plus 118 on the over. So long story short, it would be a disaster to take Garrett Cole over six and a half strikeouts in your underdog fantasy entry. And the reason for that is, right, like they're not changing. So if I just go to Cole, they don't change your payout depending on if you select the over or the under, right? Which is why underdog fantasy is so fascinating compared to sports books. Whereas sports books, if they think the under is a lot more likely to occur, they'll heavily juice the under, as you can see on Pinnacle. So we want to look for spots where the under is heavily juiced and we're getting great value at minus 122 if we're taking the under. If we're taking the over, you want to look for the opposite. So for Alvarez, it's the same thing, right? This bet was actually a lot better. You have a 6% profit margin. And then the final play I have is an early NFL prop. So an early line discrepancy I noticed. And this one's a little more finger to the wind, but the first two picks were really profitable. And again, I need a third pick to pair it with. But the pick I ended up going with is right here. Jeff Wilson Jr. under 80 and a half um, uh, rushing yards. So he's gone under one, two, three, you know, and this one was close. So he's gone under, you know, kind of three out of five games this season. And what you'll notice is check this out. Prize picks has his over at 72 and a half. If I just zoom in a bit. 
Underdog Fantasy has his over under at 80 and a half. So you have 72 and a half on prize picks as his rushing yard line. And then you have 80 and a half on Underdog Fantasy. So, you know, like if we go to prize picks, what you'll see right here is if we go to rushing yards and we go to Wilson, 72 and a half, right? Whereas on Underdog, his line's at 80 and a half. And what's crazy is if you would have, you know, middled it, like over 72 and a half hit in two of his last three games. But the under hit also both of those games. So over 72 and a half hit and under 80 and a half hit. So that's really the power, right? When you're getting under 80 and a half versus under 72 and a half and just playing on prize picks, like these differences are very meaningful. Like you can see literally against the Rams and against the Broncos, Wilson Jr., you know, this middle would have cashed if you took the over on prize picks and the under on underdog fantasy, which is crazy, right? So we're getting eight yards kind of in value to prize picks on underdog. So that's what I ended up going with. So I have three picks. You can see them all right here. Um, Alvarez, under, Cole, under, Jeff Wilson Jr., under 80 and a half rushing yards. Let's make some money. 